Hey lovebirds! In this video I chat with Chad from DC Tuxedos and we talk all about men's wedding attire. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for the latest wedding info and tips. I'm Lexi Rubello and this is a little segment I like to call Weddings with Lexi. <music> I actually met Chad through Instagram and we did a lot of styled shoots together. We worked together a lot. And then he actually custom designed the suit for my husband for my wedding day. And it was amazing. There were so many features that I didn't even know existed. And Chad is going to tell you about those today. So Chad, go ahead and introduce yourself. Well, like you said, my name is Chad. I'm the owner of DC Tuxedos. Uh, we originally started out as a renting company for tuxedos and formal wear for formal events, prom, weddings and stuff like that. And I got looking at suits and got looking at the market and realizing that there was a need for people that have different shapes and can't fit into regular suits and don't have time to do all the tailoring. So I spent a year or two looking for a custom suit company and manufacturer that I could work with. Mm -hmm. And I know one that I really, really enjoy that it allows me to give that customer the full experience of uh, Custom. For sure. So I asked this question to everyone on here. What is your favorite part about the wedding? My favorite part about the wedding is before it ever happens. We own a wedding dress shop as well. I get to see the brides and grooms outfitted and talk to them before they're in front of pictures or cameras and you get those genuine smiles. Yeah. You get to realize that when the bride finds her dress, she's extremely happy and it's one of those special moments. And when she comes in and brings him outfitted and she's just staring at him because he looks so good and you're like, now everything's complete. Yes, that's awesome. What are some common myths about suits and custom suits specifically? The first myth about custom suits is one that they are all very expensive and they take a long time to do. I've got my manufacturer that can do them in about four weeks plus an extra week of shipping. Uh, the other part is, is they're only expensive based off of the material that you want to use. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people you have to have this really fancy, full-on custom suit, when in reality, you can get an upgrade from anything that's out there right now, perfectly fitted, and what you're paying for is a little bit extra. Mm -hmm. The other myth is, is people think that suits are supposed to be like this torture thing that you're supposed to wear. Uh -huh. When you get something that you feel comfortable in and you look good in, then you're going to wear it all the time. Can you walk me through the process from start to finish? The way it works is they come in, we talk about custom suits, we get an appointment set up, they walk in the door for that appointment, and they start choosing their fabric pattern. We have over 500 different fabrics right now for them to choose from with a lot more available. We then have them try everything on, so I actually have coat sizing that they try on, then we tweak all of their measurements according to their body type. Once those are all done, we put those sizes into the computer. We then bring them over to the computer and let them sit down, and they have over a hundred choices to pick from the suit. How many buttons they want, what style of vents they want, the padding inside the coat, the lining inside the coat. You can have things monogrammed and initialed and dated and all that kind of stuff. So they pick down through all of that. We get a hidden cell phone pocket in the jacket that really <laughs> hides a giant cell phone so you can't be seen in picture. That's so great. That was my favorite part. Once that's all input in the computer, then they just wait. The information is then sent off to my factory in Thailand. My tailors double check everything, make sure that nothing looks funny. Pictures are sent off of the person wearing the try-on with all the measurements. I get to log on every week and see how it's progressing from being cut to sewn to lined, everything. And then four weeks later, it arrives. We then call the customer. They come in and try it on. At that point, they get to wear it out the door if they would like. My favorite experience was is I had a couple that I was outfitting. He made a deal with his bride that since he couldn't see the dress, she couldn't see his custom suit. Oh. He took pictures of the whole thing so he could show her later. But up until that point when they went walking down that aisle, she had no idea what he was going to look like. Wow. When he came back to drop off some stuff that he had rented, I got to hear the entire story of how she just was floored on how good he looked Aww. and how everything fit perfectly mm -hmm. and how she was just smiling at him the whole day. And so that was awesome. Yeah, I mean, you hear about the groom not seeing the bride, but I like how both of them didn't see what they were going to look like. That's awesome. I just wanted to touch on that customization. My husband got like the date on the back of his neck like engraved and then also his name on the inside of his jacket and so that was a really cool personal touch as well yeah that's one of the fun things about my suits is, is they are not mine i make them fully for them the only thing that has my name on it is the bag on the 
outside. Yeah, for sure. What options does a groom have for his wedding day? I always like to describe it this way. The bride is in a dress mm -hmm. that nobody else is going to be wearing. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to look like her. So your groom should have some options that make him stand out and match her. There's tons of options to do that. You've got different colors. You've got tuxedos that have more formal looks to them, more clean, crisp lines. Mm -hmm. You can do it by more fitting. The other thing that they should expect is they're going to feel uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Most guys aren't used to being in front of the cameras and taking pictures and being told where to stand and what to do and having all these layers on and having to stand around. And I always warn them, I'm like, I can make you look good, but you will be uncomfortable. It's the most special day of your life. So yes. you do want to look and feel confident in that. That's awesome. Can you give me a rundown of all of the things that you offer um, aside from the custom suits? So mm -hmm. We offer suit rentals tuxedo rentals and those are full packages so you get coats you get pants you get shirts you get vests you That's get ties great. Mm -hmm. we have 120 colors and ties to choose from wow different styles and mm -hmm. things like that bow ties we have vests that match all of our colors we rent shoes as well we have a couple styles of shoes to keep things pretty simple we do cufflinks we also sell so not only do we rent those suits and tuxedos, but we sell suits and tuxedos. We sell tuxedos ranging from black to burgundy to grays. What is the average cost of the rentals, just the regular suits and then the custom suits, and what do you charge? My suits range from $80 for your traditional fit all the way to $150, and those are full package deals. The only thing that's not included in those are shoes. My suits I rent for $120 for a package, and that's a coat, pants, shirt, and a tie. And then the purchasing side, they start out at $230 for our suits and go up from there up to four hundred dollars mm -hmm. and then some start out at six hundred and go up from there what are some trends that you see going in 2020 every trend that i have seen has kind of been like a circle for a while you couldn't rent a bow tie nobody wanted bow ties and all of a sudden we're 50 50. half mm -hmm. the people want ties half the people want bow ties i expect the bow ties to continue to make a climb mm -hmm. and then it'll just cycle back around again more people are interested in blues brighter blues um, lighter grays. Uh, there's a new tan that just came out that's phenomenal for 2020. And also some greens are popping back up. Do you have any tips or tricks for like our bride and groom before they even come to you? Don't bring large groups with you. So that way you know what you're looking for. You can pick things. You can find what you guys like. Yeah. And then what you do is you get the opinions of others based off of what you're liking. I also suggest that you just bring them to like the final fitting. It's just so much overwhelm when you bring them with you to find the, like, the dress in the first place. And there's just so many opinions. That dress and even that suit should be about like you, not about anybody else. Where can we find you? So my website is dctuxedos.net, social media, Instagram, dctuxedos. One of the other places that you can find me is through my bridal mm -hmm. on Instagram, Sweetheart Bridal. A lot of our, our brides, Pictures get posted on both of them. And I think that it's so cool that the bride and groom can come to you for like everything. So you have that bridal shop, but you also have the suit shop. That's huge because you have to think about it and you have this experience because you, you said at the beginning you came with your husband. Mm -hmm. Bride plays a huge role in outfitting for weddings. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you learned a lot about men's attire and got some great ideas. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Also, if you have any great ideas for men's attire for the wedding day, then leave them in the comments below. And I will see you next Wednesday.